Hey friends, so today I wanted to do a sort of a different video than I've done before. I think I did one of these like a year ago, um, but I wanted to do a January favorites video and I thought it would be fun to kind of maybe make this into a tag type thing. Um, I'm not going to tag anybody specific though, so if you want to do it, go ahead, but I kind of like listed out different categories for uh, each item um, kind of just across the board to share with you that are my favorite in that specific area of my life. Um, so I have a list right here and I will try to remember to leave it below if you want to go ahead and participate. Um, but yeah, let's just get into it. The first category is life and um, to me that's just kind of like, you know, whatever helps you organize your life or um, just anything that helps you out and well it might be really obvious how I just worded that but um, my favorite is my planner um, I just really enjoy reflecting on the previous week and um, with this particular planner as I showed you guys before I had to kind of make my own layout for the week so I'm just kind of like doing different colors and stuff so I'm really enjoying that. I haven't done this week yet, so I'll probably do that after this video. Um, but I'm just really enjoying kind of looking ahead at the week ahead and, and knowing what I need to do. And then, uh, like I said, reflecting on the previous week. It just, it does kind of help me keep my thoughts together. Um, and yeah, I'm really liking it. Um, I am actually enjoying the fact that I did not get a specific layout and that I can just kind of do whatever I want in this particular planner. Um, of course it would be easier if it was already laid out for me, but I will take it as it is. I, I'm really enjoying it and um, I just love the cover of it. It's so cute. I love the little mustaches. The next category though is beauty and these are just my favorite items that I've been using um, that I really am enjoying. So the first one is the Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. This is, uh, let's see, coconut. Well, it says with refreshing coconut oil. Um, but basically you use this when you are still wet from taking a shower or bath. And it basically, it actually says, locks in hydration at skin's peak moisture moment for luminous skin. And um, I don't know about you guys, but I get really dry skin in the winter. But anyway, this definitely helps smooth things out and it just makes me feel really refreshed when I remember to put it on because sometimes I'm in a rush and I just don't remember. Um, but yeah, you're, I like kind of, I don't do it when I'm still dripping, but like I kind of pat myself off with a towel and then I put it on. Um, it doesn't have the same consistency as a uh, normal lotion. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of, it's much more liquidy um, and I guess oily in a way. Um, but uh, yeah, that is definitely something you guys should look into. I got that at Walmart. Um, the next thing is <clears throat> my perfume. I love perfume, period. I am constantly wearing different perfumes. I wear perfume or body spray every single day. Just makes me feel better. I don't know. Um, and so I got this for Christmas. This is like my third or fourth bottle of this. This is DKNY Be Delicious. It looks like an apple, which is super cute. Um, and it, I'm really bad at describing smells, so I probably could not describe this to you, but if you have an Ulta or Sephora or any perfume counters near you, you should definitely smell it because it smells so good. Um, and my mother-in-law bought this for me for Christmas and she got me like the whole set. And then the last beauty item is this. This is my foundation. It's by Unique. It's the Mineral Touch Liquid Foundation. This actually is not the right color for me, so I have to exchange it. However, aside from the color part, I love this stuff. Um, if you've ever seen, I'm sure you guys have at least one person on your Facebook feed that is a Unique representative, um, or you've seen videos shared before. It's like they call it... Um, Photoshop in a bottle and there's a zillion YouTube videos on it but this stuff basically you put a few drops on your brush and this fluffy brush I got it's really really soft I got it from Target um, it's no particular brand or anything I think it was like five bucks it's ridiculously soft 
So this is a dropper. So you just drop a few drops on your brush, you pat it around and you smooth it out and it literally just takes any redness away. You really don't even need, unless you have something really, really bad, you don't even really need uh, concealer with this. So I really like this. I'm not a foundation person all the time. It's mainly just for if I have a bad breakout or if I am going somewhere. But yeah, I definitely recommend you guys check this out. They do sell a brush, which is like 35 bucks. That's the one thing about Unique. I I have their mascara as well. Um, their stuff is not cheap. I will say that. Um, but I do like it. Um, I think M. I think M sells it actually. But anyway, I do like this. I just have to get it. This is a little too yellow orange for me. But this is in color velour. I need. I can't remember the shade I need. The next topic is books. Um, I haven't really, I'm in the middle of reading a book. I'm only on chapter like four. Um, so I didn't want to throw that book in here because I don't know if I really like it yet. It's kind of a slow starting book. So I'm, I'm not like hooked into it quite yet. But one thing I did want to bring up to you guys, <clears throat> most of you all are married or have a significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. And um, I bought these on Amazon. I thought it would just be really fun for us, for something for us to do, my husband and I. We uh, have our date nights every Saturday night. Um, and basically that just means like we hang out with each other, we either watch a movie, we might have a few drinks, play a game, whatever. So I found these books um, on Amazon. So it's, do you know your wife and do you know your husband? And so each one of these on the back, it shows that they're $5.95 each. Um, I wind up paying under five bucks for them. Um, I think one was like three something and the other one was four something on Amazon. And it is a hundred questions in each book. And basically what we did was I got this one and he got this one. And we just, we did it over like, I don't know, two or three weeks. And it's just silly questions. In the wife book is she usually carries enough cash to buy a cup of coffee, cover lunch for herself, treat a crowd to dinner, and then some. Um, so he answered the questions. And then just to give you another example, in the husband book, um, it says, does he have his tonsils? And um, so I answered these questions about him. And then, so we were doing like five or 10 questions at a time. And then we'd go back and forth and like answer and see if we got them right or wrong. And even though we've been together for ever, it'll be 14 years this month in February, um, you still learn a lot about each other doing these books. Cause you're like, really? That's what you would do? So I highly recommend them. They're really fun. It gives you something to do if you have like a little date night in. Um, the next topic is food and since I've been on Weight Watchers this month there's two particular items that I've consistently been eating so I just want to share them. If you watch my what I eat videos then you're going to know what they are. Uh, the first one is my breakfast which is these Jimmy Dean Delight breakfast sandwiches. Um, this uh, past weekend I went to Sam's and they actually had the croissants. Um, which I did try one yesterday and it's really, really good. Um, but they also have the English muffin with the turkey sausage and those are really good also. Um, both these ones and the other ones are seven points a piece and they're just really, really good. Um, yes, you should definitely try these even if you're not on Weight Watchers. I think this has 300 calories, so this isn't that bad for breakfast. And then my second uh, favorite food is my rotisserie chicken breast. I've eaten this almost every single day this month for lunch. The, between this and tuna. Um, more of this than anything. Um, and this is my third container of it in the month. And as you can see, I'm halfway through it. Um, it's really, really good. So those are my food items. The next thing I have written is event, which obviously I can't show you. Um... But my favorite event of this month was finding out that my cousin, who was my maid of honor and who is Caden's godmother, is having a baby girl. I'm so, so excited. I'm really sad because she lives where I moved from, so she's a little over two hours away from me. But um, she's having a baby girl, and I'm just so excited. And her sister and I, uh, we're planning her baby shower, so I'm so, so super excited. Um, she was supposed to have a 
gender reveal party the weekend that the big snow storm happened so she had to cancel it so instead I was bugging the crap out of her because she kind of told people via text because they did like a cute little like picture um so I'm just so, so excited music so I don't typically have a favorite song or artist but this month there I seem to see a common thread with me so first of all pretty much every single Selena Gomez song that has been released on her last album which is called Revival I have liked so I just uh bought the whole CD a little bit ago on iTunes um I already own like five songs from it anyway because those are the ones that are being released and I'm like I really like this song who is it Selena Gomez which I never thought I always had that like oh she's a little Disney character Disney Channel character but um I really like her she's got it going on and Justin Bieber I don't know why but I really like his new songs that are coming out so yeah it's like I'm like I don't know regressing with my music um, and then there's two songs that I really like. I don't know their art, the artist. Of course, you can always Google it. Um, one is called One Call Away. Um, and then the other one is I Know What You Did Last Summer, which I'm sure if you guys listen to like Top 40 or like uh, whatever like the popular stations are, you'll hear them. I do like country music and I like rap. I like all different music. I really do. Um, but those are the songs that are standing out to me right now. But I, any type of music I will listen to. I don't even care. Um, and then while we're on the sound or the music thing, I bought it in iTunes is why I'm bringing it up. I really, um, am addicted to the sleep sounds that you can buy. If you just search in iTunes or probably Google, um, I don't know what you do if you have an Android phone, um, but in iTunes you search for like sleep sounds and stuff and just like the relaxing like water sounds and thunderstorm sounds and stuff I am obsessed with. I cannot sleep without them. Um, here's the latest one. I don't know if you can hear it. And this is called, this is what the, the album looks like. It's, it's a 210 nature sounds and it's called water washing over pebbles on the shore and this is two let's see three minutes long and I just keep it on repeat at night of course my phone's plugged in it sits on my nightstand and this is what I hear all night and it's just so relaxing and nice so I'm gonna turn it off before I fall asleep uh, next thing I have listed is TV. Um, we do not have cable. However, I do have some favorite shows. Um, we love New Girl. So we have Hulu. So we are able to watch the new episodes that come on like the day after they come on. I'm loving New Girl. I'm super sad because uh, she was pregnant this season. So she's going to be missing from uh, like half the episodes, which is super sad because she makes the show um but I still love like Nick and Schmidt are like my favorite they're hilarious um and Winston's really funny too I like them all the Goldbergs is a show that I knew was on cable before um I don't know a channel but it's really funny it's just like a sitcom um I'm trying to compare it to a show I don't even know what show to compare it to but it's really funny um and then a new show that a friend of mine told me about it is on cable um, again, I can't remember what like channel it's on. I want to say NBC, but I think I'm wrong. It's Shades of Blue and I Jennifer Lopez is the main character and um, I haven't watched all the episodes yet. I've watched like two or three and it's a really good show. So those are my current faves. Home. Um, and that is this candle. It's by Yankee, but it's called Pure Radiance by Yankee Candle and it's crackling enchanted i think that's the name of the scent enchanted so this is what they look like they look totally different than the old yankee candles and it's kind of hard to tell but the wick if you can see that the wick is like wooden so when you're burning it it sounds it's like crackling like a fire it's really really cool and this particular one smells so good. Okay, the next topic I have is kids or pets. 
Um, in particular for me, I have something for kids that I found really useful this month. Um, the first thing is uh, this little froggy urinal, uh, which I found on Amazon, which I will insert a picture here. Um, obviously, I don't want to hold it in my hand because my kid's using it. Um, and that is really helping with potty training. It's easy for him to get to because it's on his level. We have it on the side of the bathtub, actually. And um, it's really easy for him to use. And then he just picks up a little insert, dumps it in the toilet, and flushes. Um, otherwise, with our big toilet, he has to climb up on a stool. And he kind of has to, like, lean forward because our toilet is, like, oblong. Um, and then his potty seat is just really small and short. So uh, the urinal works perfectly. So if you have any little boys that are going to be potty training soon or you know anybody with little boys, it was 15 bucks on Amazon and I highly recommend it. The second thing uh, that I have for him that I'm really liking and I think he is enjoying as well is a sound machine. <laughs> you see a trend here. Um, he started watching TV before he went to bed when we moved in with my in-laws before we moved here. We were in between houses and because it was a different place, like a different environment, the only way I could get him to go to sleep in the pack and play, um, cause he was about 18 months old at the time was for him to fall asleep to the television. And unfortunately that was a habit that developed, um, and kind of continued on and we're still working on it. He will not go to bed or go to sleep without a TV on for a little while. So I bought this to help and it's definitely helping where, where we used to let the television go all night long. Um, Nickelodeon DVDs, if anybody's wondering, Paw Patrol and Blaze, they, they just loop constantly. So they would literally play all night long in his room and he would sleep through the night and it was fine. My concern was that he was staying up much later than he needed to be. So while yes, he was sleeping through the night, he probably wasn't getting much sleep when I was waking him up at like 7 a.m. So we're letting him watch it for about 45 minutes and then the TV goes off and then he has his sound machine. I don't have the plug because it's in his room still, but this thing is constantly lit and it just kind of gives off a nice, a nice glow if the machine isn't on. And you can either turn on both or one or the other, but it has a projector. And this is the projector, so you can kind of move it where you want it. You can put it on the wall, you can put it on the ceiling. And it actually has cartridges um, for different photos. So this particular one is the jungle, it has like monkeys and stuff. And then in the back, it has a nighttime scene, which is like stars and the moon and owls. And then this one is ocean. Um, and then it has six different sounds. Um, they have lullabies, the ocean, heartbeat, Mozart, white noise, and rain. And then, of course, it's got a timer and the uh, volume button. And then it even has voice activation, which I personally have not used. Um, but this is this is working very well for us. I did buy this off Amazon as well. I want to say it was between fifteen and twenty dollars. Um, but this is a Munchkin brand, I believe. Yes, and they sell Munchkin brand at Target, so you don't have to order it from Amazon, but if you do, um, they do have it. Okay, and the last topic is fun, and this is just something new that we decided to do this month or that we are doing this month that is fun for us. I mean, the books are definitely fun, so I highly recommend them, but I got my husband this game for Christmas, and he really likes it. It's really silly. You have to have stupid humor to enjoy something like this. This is something we play after uh, Caden goes to bed. Usually one of those things we do on like Saturday night with a drink or something. Um, this was a Kickstarter um, game, kind of like Cards Against Humanity, which is also really fun. But this is Exploding Kittens. And when he mentioned this game, I was like, what? Um, but it's really, really fun and funny. And we have the Not Safe for Work edition. I will come play. Um, but they have like a safe for work edition. Um, but these just have like dirtier cards on it. Like the word penis is used a few times. But that's just, we have stupid humor. So um, I opted to get that brand. Um, but I got this off Amazon as well. The game is 20 bucks or you can buy it at Target or Walmart or whatever. 
So yeah, that, those are my favorites for the month of January 2015. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you have anything related to what I shared um, that you think I might enjoy, please let me know below. Um, like I said, I thought it would be fun to maybe make this into a tag video. So if you want to share your favorites with me, uh, please do so and um, link your video below so I can watch. I love watching favorites videos, especially when it's different categories. Um, beauty, like straight up beauty favorites kind of bore me a little bit because my life is obviously more than just beauty products. Um, but I do enjoy a beauty product. So with that said, I will be going. Hopefully this isn't too long. Um, I know I talk a lot. I apologize. <laughs> be sure to like and subscribe and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.